you beautiful people of YouTube, how you doing? So today it's my first Halloween-ish um, tutorial. It's not completely Halloween-ish just because I didn't add like any gore or scalp blood or um, scars or anything like that. But you can totally add that. I'm gonna have some awesome small um, tutorials that you can watch and add that to your um, to the makeup that you have in mind for a Halloween party. I don't know. And you can totally gore it up and it's gonna be real great. So today I just wanted to do like something different, something like bampy and dark and super like Rocky Horror inspired. Um, and I don't know, I'm really really happy with the results. The only thing that I'm gonna note in this tutorial is that throughout the tutorial my foundation looks completely off. But if you look at it now, it doesn't look off or that off. And if you turn on the ring light, it's complete. It's like a complete, uh, a total match. And so uh, I want you to excuse me for that and part of the tutorial. But if you look at it, uh, since it's a Halloween tutorial, and this can be looked as a vampire look, since I look a little bit palish, um, it's kind of with the purpose of Halloween, right? Right? And so if you'd like to see how to get this, please keep on the tutorial. So I'm starting off with the eyes using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Rust as an eyeshadow base. And I'm just going to apply it with my fingers and try to blend it in. And furthermore, I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush from Morphe to diffuse it into the crease. So this is going to be our base for our smoky eye. So now from the Morphe 35N palette, I'm going to pick a light gray color um, and I'm going to diffuse it into my crease up. Kind of go into to the bar to the brow bone and this is going to be kind of our transition color and below that more in depth into the into the crease i'm going to apply a burgundy color from the same palette with a more precise volume brush so now i'm going to press a black shadow from that same palette i have to be honest i didn't like it as much as anastasia's noir or even the case blackout but it made it work so I'm just gonna put it on the lid and I'm gonna blend it in with burgundy shade into the crease. And also going in with the big fluffy brush we had in the beginning. And highlighted my brow bone with a cream color. So now I'm gonna apply the glitter. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Gun Metal. This was limited edition for the Pulp Fiction collection. I absolutely love it. I'm pretty sure that they're very good dupes. I'm gonna list them down below. And so I'm just applying that to the lid and letting it dry. This is gorgeous. So gorgeous. So I'm just applying that to the lid, letting it dry. And then I'm gonna apply a black pencil eyeliner to my waterline. Um, and then I will smudge it after I apply my concealer. And yeah. Now I'm applying my top lash mascara only i'm gonna apply the bottom lash after i approve my concealer as well and i'm gonna apply some falsies these are the iconic from house of lashes i absolutely love it um and now i'm applying my full coverage foundation from maybelline this is the better uh, my super stay better skin in the color golden it looks a little off but it's actually a perfect match this is the lightning guys um, so I'm applying that with my contour brush from Morphe, this is a G3, I love it for full coverage foundations. And I'm just going over with the powder brush to just um, get it to look a little bit more seamless. And now I'm applying a full coverage concealer to highlight the shit out of my face. I'm applying that under my eyes, on my forehead, bridge of my nose, under my contour. Uh, and then I'm just baking that with my NYC powder and after a while I'm just gonna brush it off with the same powder brush that we used earlier. And now I'm just gonna contour with my Too Faced Chocolate Sole Bronzer in Medium Deep. I absolutely love this bronzer to death. I mean, this is the perfect shade between bronze and contour, so it's like the bronze and contour in one, you know what I mean? I'm just um, contour my temples, my cheekbones, and off camera I'm gonna contour my nose just because it's my personal preference, you don't have to do it. Um, and now I'm applying my blush, this is Hibiscus from Studio Color, it's a matte blush. And I'm just applying it to the apples of my teeth. And now I'm gonna apply the highlight, this is a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade, one of my absolute favorites. And after this, the clip got cut, but I am wearing on my lips 
Anastasia Beverly Hills Heather. So this is the final look. I hope that you really really like this tutorial and 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 if you liked it please give a huge thumbs up share it to all your friends so you can help them out for Halloween I'm gonna have a ton of more tutorials coming up for this month of October if you have any suggestions please comment those down below if you got any doubts on any products or whatever other video suggestions just comment those down below and I'll be happy to answer or do them and so I'll see you in my next video bye